working <laughs> from home and flexible hours might be the holy grail for many office workers post-pandemic. But new data shows that employees trading the cubicle for the couch should watch out. Staff who are not in the office are more likely to be overlooked for promotion and pay rises and bonuses. The report, which polled employers, found that three quarters believe career progression is hampered by hybrid working. It also found only 34% of UK employees are in the office, well below the 50% global average. And I think what this highlights is a real problem within our businesses. I've worked for American businesses, I've worked for French-owned businesses, I've worked for UK-owned businesses. And UK-owned businesses do seem to be rather driven by whoever's there and whatever's in it, and a lack of any kind of ability to make strategic decisions and to have proper processes in place. American systems do these very significant reviews. And any company, if you do have hybrid working, it should be incumbent upon them to make sure that employees, whether they work from home or the office, uh, should be rewarded accordingly. Ooh. So I think we've got a problem here. And if we're going to have hybrid working, which I think is going to last, then you need to make sure that people are rewarded appropriately. Otherwise, we're going to end up... We've had discrimination in the past against female employees. I think that will proliferate, and I think other things will proliferate unless but we get a grip is, of it I, I, The reason why I disagree with you is because it's, it's all about networking, all right? How do people get promotions? It's not just... Uh, yeah. uh, ideally, in an ideal world, it would be about, oh, the fact that you're amazing at your job and you should take Meritocracy. more responsibility. Exactly. But that's not how the real world works. Real, the, in the real world, opportunities come because of networking, because of who you know, because of how you mingle. If you're working from home, and I don't think people who work from home should be discriminated against, but if you are working from home, you lose a lot of that social contact. Going yeah, out to coffee... It depends what you do. Well, no, but the thing is, you, you, three days out of, of five days a week, which is the normal t amount of time people work from home, you know, they're not having that contact. They're behind a, commu uh, a computer screen. At the end of the day, I think that we would like it to be a, a, the case where people just... Get, get get by or get to the top because of meritocracy. But in the real world, relationships are built by meeting people. They're built face-to-face, -face, yeah. and yeah. that's how people get opportunities. JJ. Yeah, if you work from home, I think you should be fired. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Everyone should be back in the office five days a week. Mm. If you're sick, work from home, perhaps, but then have it as a sick day. I think it's lazy. I think it's bad for the country. I think it's bad for, for our society that, what you that do, people JJ. know. Listen, JJ. If, you work, if you work in a box factory, then you can't have work you from home. you've got an AI bot on it in your brain? <laughs> I, if I'm a journalist, I want my staff in the office, so we can bounce ideas, so we can network, mm. so we can have discourse face to face. Depends that is what, what you has do. to be. It does depend what you do. What you do. Uh, do you know what's really interesting about this survey? 17 countries they did research in, and the UK has the highest number of people still working, working from lazy home post pandemic. Now, I don't blame us. We're, we're lazy. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, the, it's the train strikes. Oh, it's the creaking infrastructure. It is the fact that if I leave my home, I'm nearly ten pounds poorer by the time I get back now, to my home against, door again. You're saying ten pounds poorer. I mean, you know, there Depends are people who are so, yes, of course, and a lot of people. I mean, partly to do, with lunch. Lunch, to do with COVID. Because of fortune, moved moved out of town, and they're now discovering that to get into town, yep. it's incredibly expensive. And if you're doing it five days a week, you know, it is. And I know what you're saying. And actually, also, you know, the trouble is, there's two sides to this. One is. That that people who are not the wages are not keeping up with inflation, so they're so they're actually under how much they were mm -hmm. they were being paid in real terms, and also the second thing is um, about um, actually uh, you know, the time taken to get in and and, and so much more and yeah, also and then on life. the other side I know it's called, it's called life. life kids and then complaining on the about other it. side You've the problem commute. is no, no I was going to say on the other side of it you've <laughs> also got hold on a second, you've also got the <laughs> knock on effect on all the little businesses that's it. that actually depend on those people you coming do. in five days a week and that's a huge problem and it's why it's also hollowing out but having some of worked the city in the centers, business mm -hmm. where you work all over the place here we go sometimes <laughs> that hybrid working works very well